Hi everyone, welcome back to new video. In this video, we are going to see there is a complete roadmap about web development. First of all, what do you mean by web development? Like a web development, you might be seeing a lot of website and in that website, like all the container, everything I've been mentioned and uh, you need to create it. So here's a web development and uh, this web development is also a huge and a growing demand and you can earn a lot of money. So in the uh, complete detail about web development, uh, how I did and how I was able to learn a web development within a six months and everything, I made one video. So you can go and check it out on item or a link will be there in the description also. So once check out that video, also great important so in this video we are going to see complete information about the web development roadmap and this roadmap is for front-end development and uh, let's begin how you need to start and all those things from a beginner to advanced level everything is there in this so watch your video till end all right let's begin 2023 front-end development plus interview checklist and roadmap so first of all things comes that is an html so this is a fundamental of an html that you need to cover and you must be aware of it so first of thing block type then a uh, block line and element text and element header and tiles and import script like a uh, style you need to import from other uh, than headings then tables like all the formations and creations everything you need, must be knowing and aware of it then anchor tag like if you wanted to uh, make a link uh, or uh, you wanted to redirect through of any for link then uh, this anchor tag then list different on order and order list uh, forms like input and output then elements image is important uh, how you need to import how you need to arrange it on a specific positions and everything then semantic html logic creation store and everything so this was all about html fundamentals now moving to uh, that is a css like you just create a basic of an html but you need to just uh, make it beautiful and uh, everything should be neat and clean representation so how you will be doing through and css so this is css fundamental so first you need to learn about selector uh, basic and a combination then pseudo selector and uh, its element then uh, inheritance specificity box model a uh, different different fonts and typography colors you must be also aware of a uh, color scheme like you can't make any of our website without any color scheme then positioning like uh, where you wanted to keep a specific logo or image or text everything you will be learning through a positioning then units then overflow then float display and flex like how you will be, how you would be displaying all the content so everything you must be doing through a css only and one more thing uh, this pdf also you will be also getting on a telegram channel or you can join a discord server also there also you can get all the resources join discord server highly recommended where you can also get multiple opportunities and uh, many more excited content will uh, be planned so join discord server link is here and uh, q and in the description so coming to the javascript essential part like uh, what you need to do uh, primitive data types and everything primitives then scope and how you close as execution control variables then operator type conversions then array plus methods then object plus method functions try and catch how you need to handle errors everything then strict mode then timeout and interval and classes so this was all about fundamentals of javascripts now moving ahead a uh, few of our web fundamentals are also in there that also you need to prepare uh, this is uh, like a many for content you can just uh, defer it or uh, just you must be having a basic ideas of it so client and server architecture how a client and server architecture used to work HTTP then restful web service uh, communication like polling and web socket or all the information then XML and JSON then HTTPS and SSL then authentication how you must be doing authentication cookies then security like access chorus and CSP so everything you must be aware of it then catching and conversion and an HTTP 2.0 so this was some information about web fundamental that you should be aware of it and now uh, these are also an important for an interview checklist also the main part that is BOM and DOM so DOM means a document object modeling so DOM tree you must be knowing accessing how you can access the nodes creation the element selector event handling listening event bubbling then uh, iterating node list then attribute manipulations, then Ajax, how you must be uh, making and fetching of it. Then event loop, then shadow, DOM, then CSS, OM, then a critical render part, browser APIs, like how APIs are being created and fetched, then browser internals. So everything about you must be out of it. Now, main part comes an exciting part, that is a version control. So in this main thing, you must be knowing about Git and GitHub. How you how it might be working and what are the use of it and how you need to like uh, upload your code how to post fetch so everything is a uh, first 
like cloning of a code, any of a code, then pull and fetch, commit, log, host, reset, restore, switch and check out. So like uh, how you must be, if you had to create any of a code in your local host and you wanted to make it public or private in your, like you wanted to store it, then you can uh, just uh, push a code into a GitHub where you can um, like uh, store your code for a longer time and if you want to take a reference in future also like you can take it or else if someone wanted to utilize if you have made a program in open source and you can also just uh, help by anyone and uh, can contribute also so branching like how merging rebase and uh, workflow might be working then cherry pick stack squash reward and text like these are few of an important things but uh, these are a little bit advanced level also you can see like this most basic of things you might be aware of it and you should be able to do it now main comes that is a framework that is a react why react react is now popular uh, before that angular was that then uh, depending on our frameworks like uh, in in a couple of uh, five to six year like a new framework can also become or uh, something different might be coming so this is how react is popular so you, you might be learning of it because um, there are many jobs about a react developer also or uh, so if you wanted to learn and uh, get the job role specific then you can learn a react very well then in react you must be learning about co uh, component and csx then state prop then class component and its life cycle then uh, functional components how it might be working then hooks like uh, what are the hooks that you must be knowing it use state use effect and a uh, use ref then render proof then a uh, forward uh, then also coming there is an event handling then a uh, form then react lazy context api high order components then advanced and custom hooks then portals error boundaries uh, re uh, react internals so this was all about react uh, you must be aware of it and these are basic of things easily you can learn it uh, just to give a few of dedication in your coursework you will be easily able to learn it now coming to the react ecosystem what you need to learn that is a just a lot redux you can learn then react router then style component material react react hook forms axiom tank structure query frame motion react in each chest react test library libraries then a graphql apology client and next yes these are a few of an extra for things that uh, you need to learn for current now you can skip also and you can do on later also how you expect this goes in a web development that like that you can uh, just carry on and uh, work on it now coming to html advanced topic what all you should be doing of it so html like you can learn a meta text then search engine optimization responsive image like uh uh, complete like what you look on a desktop like a similar experience you should be also getting when you are using your uh, application on your mobile phone so, so then multimedia audio and video then animations then web components then index db iframes like uh, how you must be framing it canvas then web gl worker uh, web worker service worker, service worker. so these are a few of an advanced topic you can skip also or later on so you can do this is an a complete guide like for interview preparation if you are preparing for a uh, front end from a basic to advanced then this can also be much helpful you then css like a uh, uh, shadow gradient background image um, masking then css transformation animations and um, you are also like grids variables uh subgrid there are a lot of things so you just refer it and go through it then in advanced javascript also just uh, refer it like a major thing is like this keyword then uh, callback and uh, modular then here also like symbols and everything you must be in this web development like you can also just uh, refer through a various kind of a documentation of a different different thing and uh, prepare according to it also then few of our majority for front end concept for like for interview preparations if you're doing then a progressive web application object oriented programming fundamental programming then react to programming then test driven, uh, test driven development, accessibility, usability, web performance, CSSR, then web security, web patterns, Jamstack, micro front end user experience, CI CDD, fair web assembly, and web 3.0. Like web 3.0 is a very for much of a trending, so you can also give a hands on experience it and uh, try to learn few of things if you want it and uh, get experience in it. So few of our recommended tools like uh, VS Code, then Browser, Git, TypeScript is also been popular, NPM, Yarn, Husky, VGS, Webpacks. 
style lint and prettier and as lint. So these are a few of our tools like for uh, making a code representation in proper format because like when you are typing it then it must be like a uh, randomized and uh, it must be not in proper format. So just to format it, these are a few of tools you can use with it. And for development you can use VS Code, one of the best. Then few of our popular tech and uh, tools are also in the says then a react then a year or so like we test then a state and element depend on your development which type of development you're doing then Vue.js, angular solid js pre-react uh 3js if you wanted to work in a 3d model then 3gx has been used so like different different things have been the known js for uh back and work so depend on your usage and how you wanted to use your development so recommended the basic of a path that you must be following it that is a html then CSS, JavaScript, Web Fundamentals, GitHub, Git and GitHub, then uh, React you must be doing, State Management Information you must be doing. You must be also a little bit over aware about unit testing, that how our testing work. Then React ecosystem, we already talked about it. Then BOM and DOM, this is an intermediate track, what all the things you are seeing, there is a TypeScript, Next.js, Advanced HTML, then Web Security, because uh, security of your features will be coming in front of them, and a few of our design patterns, and uh, your learning keep on going, it's been never ending. So, first, uh, for a basic thing, you can just cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Web Fundamental Kit, and uh, React, and few of our hands on, you can give on. Uh, these of things and also learn a few of our react ecosystem if you wanted to learn and for intermediate tech you can just uh, go through this uh, unit testing in react ecosystem type script Next.js, html and web performance and uh, you can learn as you are like if you are interested and you want to learn you can learn on it and uh this year pdf was like uh, created by this son and pipe a uh, big uh, huge shout out to him and uh go and uh, if you wanted to have a doubts or a clarification is just uh, contact him on linkedin and have project so this was all about front-end development and this front-end development is also highly payable and if you want a podcast about front-end development that are how and how things work please mention me in the comment and uh, don't forget to join our discord server that's pretty much information about front-end and uh, see you in the next video